Hey guys, you know what time it is. For me, it's time for my Diet Coke break, and today I'm drinking out of another Wizard of Oz glass. This one has Glinda on it, and I figured, you know, she's in a pink dress, I'm wearing a pink shirt, so I might as well play the Good Witch today, so that's what we're going with. I hope you guys are having a really, really great Wednesday. I hope your week has been good so far. Alright, so on this Wednesday, my Gold Star Worthy Wednesday product of the week is going to be the Rimmel three, um, Stay Glossy 3D Glosses. And I have, well, let's see, I have this many. I guess you can see the tops. I have this many of the glosses, which is kind of excessive because I don't think I'll ever use all of these up. Um, there's one in here that I am really trying to use up. If you watch my video, um, 7 by 11, I'm trying to use seven things up by December 11th. And one of the glosses on that list um, is actually this one right here. Um, this gloss, whenever it's all down to the tube, is down about right here. And that is as far as I've ever gotten on a lip gloss. So I'm kind of proud of that, actually. Um... But I'm trying to totally use this one up by December 11th, but I also use the other glosses. I just, I like them because they're inexpensive. I think that they're 3 or $4, it seems like, even at CVS or Walmart, Target, wherever they have the Rimmel makeup. And they, they're very glossy. I like them. I like the formula. I like the applicator that's on them. They all have, um, you know, the little applicator like this. Uh, you know, and it's just a really soft applicator. You can use either side you want to. And, I mean, they glide on well. They're very shiny. They are very glossy. And they seem to last and hold up pretty well, you know, even if I'm eating or drinking something. And I'm not saying they will stay on all day because, you know, they won't. I'm not even saying they'll, they'll you know, completely stay on their entire meal or anything. But they work really, really well just to have just a nice gloss. And they have such a huge shade range that you can find a gloss to match just about any lipstick or any look that you're trying to put together. So I want to show you um, guys the ones that I have. And I'll show you a swatch of each one on the back of my hand. And um, hopefully you'll be interested enough to maybe run out and pick you up one. So let's just go ahead and get started with the swatches. Alright, so the first one I have is this one here. It's the one I'm trying to use up. And this one is called Love at the Movies. And this color is just a very, um, let's see if I can swatch it for you guys here. It's just kind of a nudish, uh, nude, nudist, nudish. Sorry. It's kind of a nudie pink color, but it has a little bit of iridescence to it. Um, this is my favorite one. It's the one I seem to gravitate to all the time. I guess that's why it's more used up than any of the other ones. Um, the next one that I have here is called Treasure Hunt. And this is more of a, um, this is more of like a hot pink. Almost, um, going over to maybe a little bit towards the red side. But it's definitely more pigmented, um, than the first one. But so this one you could actually wear, you know, as like your lipstick if you wanted to. But this one is called Treasure Hunt. And the next one I have is called Candy Floss. And this is the one I'm actually wearing today. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I'll show you the one I'm wearing today in a minute. Um, this one is Candy Floss. And it is more of just your, you know, cotton candy, bubblegum pink um, kind of color right here. Um, again, that's Candy Floss. And then this one is the one that I somehow took the name tag off so I'm not sure what this one is. This might be my least favorite one anyway. Actually, I rarely, rarely grab for this one. Um, I think I got it when CVS stuff was like 75% off last year. So I ended up paying like a dollar or something for it. But um, it is this color right here and it's not, it's not very, it's just, it's really not very colorful or I guess it'd be okay to throw on if you just needed something. It makes me look washed out when I just wear it by itself. Okay, this one is called Back Row Smooch and this is the one I actually have on today. Um, this one is also a pink, but it's more of a, just like a baby doll pink, I guess. Um, it's this one right here and I wish you could see a little more, but anyway, it's got... It's more of a blue based. It's got a little bit of, um, you know, like that blue shimmer kind of. Okay. Mm. Well, anyway, it's got kind of more that blue shimmer, like the bluish pink, but it's really, really pretty. It just has a little bit of iridescence to it. This one is another one that's really not a favorite, but I don't want to get rid of it. Um, 
because you know one day I might really like it and this one I also don't have the name on but it's kind of this plummy um I think it's just kind of like a I'm gonna have to go down here on my hand um it's more of like a taupe actually um it's right here it's more of just like a taupe color um I don't know if uh I hope these are showing up okay it's more of like a yeah, just like a taupe color. I mean, it's it's pretty on top of, you know, certain things. And then this is the last one that I have here. And I also don't know um, the number on this one. I guess I could tell you the numbers on these two. Um, this first one that I really just didn't care for, um, that's this tan right there, right there. The number on this one is... 1273 so I guess if you're looking for this color you could find 1273 and then this um plummy shade right here that which is this one right here on my wrist um the color on this one is 3042 all right and then this one also I uh, there's not um I'm not sure what happened to the labels on these I guess these are the three I don't use the most and neither one of them neither of the three have names but um this one for reference is 4041 and this one's actually pretty. It's just, it's more of like your almost clear, um, it's got just a little, it's like a nude, just kind of like a nudish kind of, um, color right there. But, you know, it's got a little bit of sparkle to it. That's something you could just kind of throw on when you don't have anything else on and it's not going to wash you out too bad. Okay, so those are the Rimmel Stay Glossy 3D glosses that I have. Um, again, these are the colors, and I will list every one of the colors below for reference in case you guys want to check those out. But I just, I really love them. They are my favorite lip glosses, high-end or drugstore. Um, I've got a couple of Dior glosses. I think those are probably the most expensive ones I have. But I honestly always come back to these Rimmel glosses that are, you know, like 3 or $4 at the drugstore. And um, to me, they are just as good. They don't cost as much. And... I mean, I just think they're great. So, if you guys are interested in checking out some of those Rimmel 3D glosses, I will put a link below to a few of the stores that carry them, and so you can check the colors out. And um, if you find yourself in the drugstore and you're not sure what kind of gloss you want to get, um, head over to the Rimmel section and check those out, and I think that you would really be happy with those. Alright guys, so if you already wear the Rimmel 3D glosses and you have a favorite color or a color that you have that you want to tell me about that I didn't mention here, please leave it in the comments below because in November when my 100 day no buy is over, um, I want to pick up a couple new glosses because I am sure in the past, I think I'm on day 60 seven or 68 maybe right now, I am sure in those past days that a couple new colors have come out for the new seasons, I'm sure, and I really want to try those out. All right, y'all, that is all I have for you today. That is my Gold Star Worthy Wednesday product for this week. I think the Rimmel glosses deserve five gold stars across the board. So, you know that moment when you forget that you have swatched lip gloss all over the back of your hand and you go to uh, do this thing, you know, this number to your hair and it smears everywhere and... That's just been the kind of day it's been today. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for visiting my channel. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much for doing so. If you haven't, please go ahead and do so. I would love for you to check my videos out, and I would love to hear all of your suggestions for upcoming videos that you would like to see me do. I hope you guys have a really great evening. I'll talk to you later. Bye.